Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Akil, and I don't have much to say about this movie, guys. I just got done watching Chaos Walking, and I gotta say, this might be one of the most disappointing movies I've seen in my entire life. Wow, this was bad. Yikes, what happened here? Now, don't get me wrong, this movie actually has some redeeming qualities about it. It's not the worst movie ever made or the worst movie of all time and thing like that but this movie is really really bad so i'm just going and jump right into it not make this super long because i really don't have much to say about this unlike tom and jerry which i could go on and on about why that movie's a terrible horrible garbage film so i'm going to start off by saying as a pre-rating score i'm going to give chaos walking as a pre-rating score and say that it's a terrible movie guys yes this is a terrible movie this is a disaster. I don't know what happened here. I think because it kept being delayed. There's a reason why it, it turned out the way it did. So if they did reshoots because the original film was that bad. That's saying something. So yeah. Now in terms of story without really spoiling too much. If you want to watch this movie you can. I'm not forcing you not to. Or two or not two, whatever. But anyway, the story about this movie, without getting to spoils too much, is that Daisy Ridley crash lands on this planet. Tom Holland and all the other men on the planet express their thoughts out so Daisy Ridley can hear what everyone's saying. She seems to be a new woman in the film. And things happen along the way. Matt Mickelson's the villain. Nick Jonas is playing Matt Mickelson's son, who's also kind of an antagonist, as well as David. Or what? Uh, how do you say his name? The uh, His last name, David. The guy who played in uh, the film some with David, David Oyewio, I can't pronounce his last name, I'm sorry. Say it as well you will. If that's racist, I'm sorry, but I know that actor's name. I know his first name is David, I just can't pronounce his last name, but yeah. And, um, yeah, so he's a bad guy. He's called Preacher in the film. Uh, Damien Bouchard's in the film too. He puts Tom Holland's son and um, kind of a father figure to him him well as well and they kind of live in a farm and then Tom runs into Daisy and they go on this adventure that's uh, basically them like trying to go to this safe haven if you will and we've seen type of stories like this before people chasing after them along the way and yeah that's really all I can say without sp spoiling too much now let's get on to the positives because there's really not else much else I can say about the story because the positives of this movie is not the story one of the positives is actually that it had a good concept. The concept of this movie is by far the best part of this entire film. It's very interesting. And um, I really like how uh, their thoughts are used at times. It's really, really cool. But the concept is what really saved this movie. However, the thoughts themselves and the way they're used, it's so weird. I'm like, why? Okay, we get it. Tom Holland likes his girl. Let's move on past that and all that. So yeah, the concept was there, but the execution really fell flat of it in my opinion. And one other thing in terms of positives is that it was a little bit funny. Not a lot, just a little bit funny. There are one or two moments, especially one woman that actually made me laugh quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie. I did find myself chuckling at that because it was like, I don't know, it was like, oh, okay, that was very random. And when you watch the movie, it makes a lot of sense. So yeah, I did find a little bit of humor in this movie. But now we have to get onto the negatives because boy oh boy, is this movie a disaster? And the first thing that instantly stood out to me was the plot. The plot of this movie is like all over the place. It's like there's stuff to do with Tom Holland's past, stuff to do with Daisy Ridley getting back home, stuff to do with communicating with a ship and bad guys chasing them and safe havens and this and that. It does not know what it's trying to be. I'm not trying to copy again. If you feel like I'm copying Chris Duckman, I apologize. Maybe I can't help it because after I've watched his reviews, like, the ideas of what he says comes into my mind. I'm sorry. But even when I watch a movie. And I do apologize if I feel like I'm copying him. But the movie feels like. I'm not going to say it's cliched. Well there's a little bit of that. There's definitely. But I did feel like. There was just too many things going on. I wouldn't say it's a complete mess. But it was just. The plot was just like. Why? What happened? The plot. I, I was like lost in it. And speaking being. Of being lost in it. It was definitely confusing. This movie was definitely confusing. I had no idea what was going on at times. I was like wait what's happening here? Why are they trying to find this girl? Why is this preacher here? 
I don't know what was going on. I could have just said the start was confusing because I was literally lost from the first few minutes of this film. But then when Daisy Ridley showed up and he got to the end of the film, it started to make more sense. But more sense, but it was still pretty confusing and not like Inception confusing or anything like that, but that's that's different. And last we was the lack of action. There was action in this movie, but my God, was it bad. Like, it was very simple, straight to the point. They could have done a lot more creative things with the action sequences, but no, they didn't. Like, they had their thoughts there. There's one part, Matt Mickelson done something pretty cool to Tom Holland towards the third act of the film, but that's it. That's all he does when it comes to... That's all they try to do creatively when it comes to the action, but that's it. A movie like this could have been so much better. This is, without doubt, the most disappointing film I've seen this entire year. And one of the worst movies this year. Man, this is bad. I didn't expect this to be this bad. As a final score, I'm going to give Chaos Walking a 2 out of 10. Wow, I'm glad I didn't watch this one either in the theaters. Oh boy, I'm very scared for Terry next week on Friday. Don't miss out on that. Also, don't don't miss out on my... Dark Knight, the Dark Knight Rises review on Monday and don't forget to check out my other reviews on my channel for Batman Begins, Tom and Jerry which was also garbage and also The Dark Knight which I reviewed on Monday so anyway guys don't watch this movie it's absolutely terrible it's not as bad as Tom and Jerry because that I gave a 1 this gets a 2 but my word 2 bad movies back to back please Cherry save us please Russo's I know you can do it but anyway that thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel my name's Akil, otherwise known as the Comic Director, and I'm signing out.